Hi, I'm Stan DeFritis, Mr. Green Thumb. If you've got some rows that you've started the little cuttings on, normally it's going to take probably, oh, four to six weeks for them to establish roots. Now, I mentioned earlier, if you take root cuttings, you normally use some endobutric acid or a little rooting hormone that you're going to put on the base. You normally take your base and you cut it at about a 45 degree angle. Once this has established a root system, and you'll see nice little white healthy roots. Remember, white healthy roots are good. If it starts turning yellow or brown, then you may have some kind of fungal problem occurring. Go ahead and take your little root cutting, like we have here. You've started this little root cutting. Take it and put it into a small container. Normally, we use a stepping up process. We'll go from one size container to a larger size container, but usually only one size larger container in the stepping up process. Roses, of course, are normally grafted. So you're normally going to have a rose that you're going to take a cutting from. You may graft it onto the rootstock of a rose that's really hardy or strong. But by doing this, you can grow them on their own rootstock. And if you put them into a real good sterile soil, you have a lot less chance of problems. Starting roses and cuttings and transplanting them can be a fun activity. For AskMrGreenThumb.com, I'm Stan DeFritis.